Hello all, my name is Krishnaik and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be discussing about some of the non-technical skills that you should have in order to become a data scientist. Now, this particular non-technical skills is not with respect to only data scientist. It may be with respect to other domain or whatever domain you are basically working. So the first non-technical skills that you should have is something called as communication skills. Now, you need to be a very good communicator, guys. Uh, the reason why I'm specifically telling communication skills because if you become a data scientist, guys, you need to talk with a lot of people right uh, you need to talk with the data analyst you need to talk with the business analyst to gather the requirement uh, apart from that you need to also talk with various stakeholders with your peer uh, fellow data scientist with architects and many more people I've seen many people they are uh, even though they're having a lot of technical skills with respect to all the life cycle of a data science project but still they lack in the communication skills and again yes uh, it is just not a one day process uh, you cannot just be perfect in your communication with respect to just one day you need to have experience for that you need to face different different situation but again it is just a continuous process continuous learning process now initially when I started my uh, development career uh, I was also very bad at communication uh, it's not like I was bad at my English language I was good at that but still uh, communicating the right things in front of the peer it usually took me time uh, and again I took it as a learning process I also started teaching in YouTube so this has drastically improved my skills my soft soft skills so usually in colleges also you'll be seeing that uh, before the placement they'll be giving you training with respect to aptitude with respect to soft skills and a lot of things right so that aptitude will be with respect to your grammar with respect to your maths and many more things so it is very very important that you have very good communication skills and uh, please do continuously work on your communication skills that will definitely benefit you the second non-technical skill is always try to work with the team so teamwork collaborating I mean collaborating and working with the team is very very important okay so uh, always remember for a successful project uh, for a successful project you know that there are many people involved in one project right so you need to work as a team in order to make that project successful this is very very important in data science specifically you need to work with your fellow data scientists you need to work with the principal architect you need to work with your data analyst business analyst um, database administrator uh, you know cloud engineers big data developers and many more people right because that is how a life cycle of a data science project works on so it is very very important that you work as a team and definitely you'll be you, you should have that habit you should always be motivated you should always support your team and definitely any project will be always successful so the second important point is very very important guys work as a team okay now the third point is basically good listener you need to be a very good listener now when I told about communication skills uh, in communication skills first of all you have to be a good storyteller in data science with respect to specific data scientist uh, positions you have to be a good storyteller you have to know the requirements you have to tell you have to be able to represent that particular whole requirements in front of everyone you need to explain those things right so that is uh, that is possible only when you are good storyteller apart from communication skill you also need to be a good listener right good listener basically means you need to know the you need to understand the views of the others also you need to listen to them right and it they may come up with some very good ideas it is not that you only should be just communicating things right you need to be a good listener with respect to all the things that you have discussed within the team okay you need to understand that you need to understand then only you should talk okay so for this the third communication skill i would like to specify is you have to be a good listener okay and that is very important guys uh I, I, I like this particular skill because you know uh, whenever we are in a meeting whenever we are discussing about any use case there are a whole lot of different different points that comes up and it is very very interesting and those points are like I have never thought about it so it is very very important that you know that you listen to this like many people are they are unique they have different different talents they have different different knowledge right and you can just compare like that so it, you have to be a good listener you have to understand the requirements how it is and definitely you should uh, if you have the skill i'll definitely tell you guys you will be standing out with respect to others and when you take all those particular idea collaborate and make it as a project definitely it will be a very very successful project um, now apart from that apart from good listener the fourth point I'd like to say that you also have to be patience okay uh, uh, 
this is very again this is also a very uh, important uh, non uh, technical skill basically you have to be patient sometime when you're working with as a data scientist after you have done your brainstorming to gather the data and then you made a model even though you made a model you spend so much of time sometime your model may not give a very good accuracy at that time what you'll do right so at that time definitely you have to be patient you have to think what you can do apart from that it is always uh, i've seen many people like they are not that patient you know they always think of something doing like when 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 things does not work well right they they really get irritated so that is not how you should be you have to be patient always trust me guys all the work in this world can be done easily okay you need to find out just different different ways right so this is very very important that you need to be patient just take this four points guys first is the communication skill second is the team work third is the good listener and fourth is patience i always tell everyone please be patient with respect to your learning again guys if you are learning something right it is just not a one day process you have to be patient for that even i tell students i tell my subscribers whoever like they ping me in the linkedin i tell them to become to be patient right so have that particular patience because they can just learn those things continuously i've seen many people just they just give up just in one day or two day no it is not possible by me you should not have that uh, give up attitude instead you have to be patient think about it you know um, it's okay to take a break it's okay to take a break but never give up and if you don't if you have that ability to never give up definitely you'll also develop that patience attitude right so yes uh, this is all about uh, this particular non technical skills that uh, everyone should have not only with respect to data science for with respect to any domain that you are working in uh, i hope you like this particular video please do comment down your point of view other non technical skills that we should have which you think is important in the description box and uh, i would like to de definitely hear that okay so <clears throat> so this was all about this particular video guys i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you have not already subscribed i'll see you in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all